So we're going to position out some things here. Marnie and Bodkin actually compete at all levels in obedience and rally. Marnie, over the years, have done all sorts of disciplines with her dogs, from showing to trialing to obedience. She literally is top of the tree, and we're delighted she's with us today. And then into the rally. Massive round of applause, please, for the marvellous Marnie Wells and absolutely brilliant Bodkin for showing just how intelligent our dogs are and how they can compete at top level in obedience too. So with our obedience section out of the way, we'll very quickly remove this and we'll start with our agility dogs. Now, Staffordshire Bull Terriers, the breed standard, asks for them to be active and agile. So hopefully what you'll see with our next four dogs is a lot of that agility. First up in the ring, we have Joanne with Tiger. And as a breed, they're supposed to be muscular and well-defined, which obviously dogs that compete at agility also, it helps if they have those muscles flexed and working. Now again, some of our dogs that are with us today in the display compete at top level agility. Some of them just enjoy training. And for, do for dogs like Staffords that love to please people and that work for food, agility is a really good thing. Oh, 
and off and away for Joe and Tiger. So next up in the ring we have Molly with Sarah. Now again, Molly is one of our rescue dogs. She came from Three Counties Rescue, which covers Cambridgeshire, Bedfordshire, and I think Hertfordshire, and certainly Three Counties. And Molly's really enjoying this, as you can tell from the noise. Staffordshire Bull Terriers do like to be quite noisy, as well as nicely speedy. So who knows what Molly's starting life was as a rescue, but I think we can all agree, whatever it was, she's certainly enjoying life to the max now. So and again, over through the weaves, which are not particularly Staffordshire Bull Terrier shaped. And off and away with Molly. Next up we have Nala. Nala's going to make her own course up, I know it. Yes, she can read, Darren. She knew that said number two. Now, Nala's KC registered standard Staffordshire Bull Terrier. She has actually shown in confirmation shows in the past. She's also a valued member of our display team. Goes. She's going to do this in her own way, isn't she? She's going to have a sniff. Come on, Nala, let's get it going. Yes, that's the way out when you've finished. But as you can see, that tail's still wagging, start to finish, all the way round. So through the weaves, which is a huge achievement for Nala. And thank you very much to Nala there. And to finish off the agility section, we have Queenie back in. Now, you saw her on the hoopers. She was very fast with the hoopers, wasn't she? Let's have a look and see what she's going to do around this agility course. So we're whizzing around here. Up and down, mighty fast. Oh, wow, that was a good one. Now it does say in our breed standard, our dogs should be highly intelligent. We'll show off a bit of our intelligence afterwards. But I think for now you'll agree, they certainly are active and agile. So thanks very much to Joe and Queenie. And next up, we're going to start on our final part, which is to show you the comical side of our breed. So here we've got Roxy back in again, who lives at home with Olive. And they've come a long way. They've come from North Wales today. So they've actually brought their own transport. But wait a minute, I think, I don't think Olive's got a seat belt on. And I think they're exceeding, exceeding the speed limit. Where is police dog Stella when you really need her? Now, these two girls love each other desperately. They love to work together. They are very, very fond of each other. They like to have a cuddle. Clever girls, aren't they? Let's pop them back on. We'll take their mode of transport out. And next in, we're going to show off some of our dog's intelligence. Now, you know that the Kennel Club likes to go into schools and it has its bark and read system. Helps the children in the schools, they're full of it. Well, we've got our own dogs that can do their own reading. Now we have Buzz back in the ring, who's the master at reading. And we have Wilf, who's the young pretender. And Wilf has been to lessons and been learning, but who knows if it'll work today. So let's see if our dogs can read their cue cards. Now, I don't know if you can see what's on the cue card. Hopefully you can see from a distance. Wilf has decided he'd like to come out. Would you like to catch Wilf? Maybe Wilf doesn't want to read today. 
Meanwhile, Buzz will carry on reading. This one, in case you can't read it, I'll spell. It says B-E-G. He can't spell, he can only read. This one says D-O-W-N. Oh, yes, we can see it up the top. Very good. Down he goes. Well done. So Buzz has managed to complete. Now, it looks like Wolf's getting the hang of it now. Well done, Wilf. And let's see if we can have another one for Wilf there. Well done, Wilf. Wilf has really cottoned on now. Excellent, we're getting there. And to finish off, well done, Wilf. He got there in the end. Thank you very much to our reading dogs to show what's there. Now, the next thing we need to do is to get Tina to rush, poor thing because she's now going to do something very clever with her other dog, with Dixie. So she's going to whiz across the ring, and we're going to bring in a box of balls that we have here. Now, Dixie is very good at scent work, and we have a special ball, which we're going to ask Dave to pop in the box for us. So we have an independent adjudicator. Now, it does have Dixie's name written on it, but it's the same ball as all the others otherwise. So out it goes into the centre. And Tina will ask Dixie if she can retrieve her ball from the box. So a nice big box full of balls, all the same colour, all the same size. Is she going to be able to find the right one? Now she's got one, looks like. Is that the one you want, Dixie? It is. Perhaps Tina can hold it up. I'm not sure if we can catch it. And you can see it says Dixie. Well done, Tina and Dixie. Excellent scent work. So marvellous stuff from them. And now we've got another little treat for you coming into the ring. Who remembers us here last year when Izzy came and stole the show? Now, Izzy was here last year with Milo who's a Stafford Labrador cross. She's working with him later. And she had mum in the ring last year. But this year, Izzy's gonna do some tricks herself with Jersey. Now, one of the things we're so proud of with Staffordshire Bull Terriers is their affinity with children. And the fact that they're one of only two breeds where the KC breed standard actually mentions their suitability with children. Terrific little family dog. What a terrific bond these two have. Now, what I'd also like you to do, I think Jersey's going to go back to Mum. I'd like everybody here, please, to give a huge round of applause to Jersey and Izzy. So here in Olympic year, we are going to ask Blake if he can jump through our Olympic hoops. Well done, all through the hoops for us. And to finish off, straight through, his very special craft sign. Well, that last one was a test of faith because the dog didn't know whether or not that center was solid or not. But such is their rapport with the handler, they do whatever is asked of them. And I think Izzy with her dog proves the point that Staffords are one of only two breeds recommended to be with children. What you've seen here in this small display is the nature of the beast. It's not a beast at all, it's a big softy. And if you see them walking about and you wanna come and talk to them, speak to the handlers, come and have a look at the dogs. And we'd like to see you all here again next year, welcoming the East Anglian Staffordshire Bull Terrier Club display team. Thank you.